Hello my friends, today is April 2nd. Our topic is learning through failures. Our devotion comes to us from Revelation chapter 2 verse 7. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. My brothers and sisters, is there any time you stopped your dream and desire just because of your first time failures? Are you upset and frustrated because even if you tried, you were not successful and feel now you are not worthy to move forward in your life? Or are you planning to achieve something in your life, but fear and worries, even anxieties, always try to stop and discourage you? My friends, many people in this world stop their achievement at the very first failure or try itself. Success is not very easy. Joy cannot be sold or bought. In the book of Revelation, God challenges people to overcome though they pass through failures. Today, are you really fed up and frustrated because of your failures? Are you really disappointed because though you tried to get that relationship back, are you failed? Here are the three motivational suggestions for you to see your failures outside of the box. Number one, you are not failed. My friends, whenever you say your life is a failure, your life is a loss, your life is good for nothing and full of bitterness, please remember, my friends, you are not failed or you are not a failure rather than it is just your plans are failed. No successful people have won the race at the very first time itself. Failures are the part of the experiences. You will learn more lessons in failures rather than in success. Success will give you joy, but failures will give you lessons. Never curse your failures because your motivational teacher is your failures. Number two, failures fashion you. My brethren, although success is your ultimate destiny, yet you ought to travel through failures. You have to pass through failures. Don't run away from failures because failures will fashion you. Failures will make you to think. Failures will mold you and shape you. If your family criticize you by saying you are good for nothing, don't curse yourself or run away from your life. Run faster than before. Work better than before. Pray harder than before. Eventually, victory will be yours. Number three, change strategies, not you. My friends, successful people do not do different things, but they do things differently. Every successful people must have passed through failures, insult, loss, criticism, hurt, scars, yet they did not give up. They just planned differently. So also, my friends, never give up if someone doesn't love you. Never give up because somebody doesn't understand you. Just focus on your dream and destiny. And I'm sure in Jesus Christ, your victory will come looking for you. Here is the hope for you today from 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But thanks be to God, who in Christ always 
leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. Let's pray. Heavenly God, there are many times we give up our life because of failures. Thank you so much for leading us through victory always because of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.